Hi, uh, welcome to Almost Inevitable Design and this is another Divi tutorial for you. Okay, so this is your regular uh, mobile menu. You get the hamburger like that. But let's find out, let's learn how to change this hamburger into something else. Now the way that you're going to do this is that this is actually, um, you can check it out over here, this is actually an icon, well, not an, it's, it's, it's a letter basically. It's what it does is it is this thing, right? Now this is in a font that is from Elegant, Elegant Themes. It's an Elegant Icon font. It's over here, right here, this guy. That is um, the hamburger that we have here. Now let's say for example that we wanna change it. Uh, we're gonna change it to, um, what do you wanna do? Let's make it into a, a light bulb. Yeah, let's do a light bulb, all right? Now, the thing is that this font is automatically loaded with Divi because that's it comes with, all right? So let's say we have that, um, we, need, we wanna put that uh, light bulb here instead of the, the hamburger. Now, on this page, now this link is in uh, the, well, if you're on YouTube, then it's in the, what is it, in the comment, not comment, in the description below. If you're on the page, then it's, you know, it's a button on the page. Now, if you go down here, you can find, let's, where's, um, where's the, where's the light bulb? Did I pass it? Um, I don't know. If we can't find it, we're not going to use the light bulb. I mean, that's not, it's not that important to have a light bulb. Uh, it looks like I passed it, doesn't it? Um, I must be, oh, there it is. Yeah, here we go. So <clears throat> this is the code for the light bulb. Now, uh, if you look over here, that hamburger's code is here, content uh, slash 61. That does not look like that, does it? What it is, is um, you don't, you're gonna take out the semicolon over here and you're gonna take out everything up to the X and replace it with the slash. So this is the CSS code. This is the CSS code for um, the, the mobile menu. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add that, take out the semicolon and everything up to the X we don't need and we do that. Now this slash is different from the regular slash that we use, all right? Different slashes. Uh, this is the regular slash that we use like HTTP, oops, HTTP, double slash, backslash, right? That's not what we're using, we're using the other slash, the one uh, above, I don't know, you can find it on your keyboard, right? So that is gonna go inside the custom CSS, save the changes, and if we re, oops, if we reload, oh, voila, there we go, light bulb, right? Yeah. Cool. Now, because um, the elegant icons are loaded, anyways, we might as well use it uh, in some other clever ways. So I'm just, I just made a class called icons. You can change it to whatever you want, but this is the font that we're loading in order to get these icons, uh, ET modules, right? So we're gonna take that, and anytime we add the class icons, it's gonna actually end up being in that uh, in that icon font, right? So uh, let's try something like um, I don't know. Let's try this. Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Oh, how about this? That's cool. That looks cool. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna add that to the menu now. Here I, I made a placeholder. Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna use that. We're gonna do this. Um, Oh, by the way, inside the, what is it, the menu, uh, you can actually, oh, this is, um, yeah, that's what I did for testing. Um, atomic, yeah. Now, if I paste that, now, oops, if I paste that. Now, if you, when you paste, you're gonna paste the code like this, not with a slash, or what you know, not as this because it's not. Yeah, that's that's different. So you're gonna paste it like that. The actual uh, code itself, this thing, everything from the and all the way to the the semicolon, right? So you're gonna do that. Okay, 
and then you're going to put that in there, the title, and then that means that it's going to use um, the, the atomic icon. All right, let's check it out. So now we have the menu here, and we have this guy. Yay, look at that. All right, yeah, there we go. It's right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So that's how you can... That's how you can change, use the elegant icons in your um, builds or also in like changing the menu and all that. So have fun with that and I'll maybe see you in another, uh, another tutorial. Have a great day. Bye-bye.